Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Com. In this video, we'll demonstrate some of the SQL JSON functionality introduced in Oracle 12.2. The JSON support in Oracle 12.1 was mostly focused on consuming JSON data. In Oracle 12.2, we got a number of features focused on the production of JSON data, including the SQL JSON functions demonstrated here. The JSON object function converts a comma separated list of key value pairs into a JSON object. As we can see, each row returned by the query is converted to a separate JSON object. The JSON object ag function aggregates a key pair from multiple rows into a single JSON object. The JSON array function converts a comma separated list of items into a JSON array. Each row returned by the query is converted into a separate JSON array. Remember, each element in a JSON array can be of a different type. In this example, each array contains a basic numeric type, a JSON object with a numeric value, and a JSON object with a string value. The JSON array ag function aggregates elements from a number of rows into a single JSON array. Individually, these functions look a little too simplistic to be useful, but the power of SQL JSON comes when you combine them together. The return value for each function can be used as an input value for another. Let's take a look at an example of creating a nested JSON document using SQL JSON. This query looks quite complicated, but when we break it down, you will see it's quite simple. We create a JSON object with a key of departments. Its value is a JSON array generated by the JSON array ag function. Each element in this array is a JSON object containing basic department information. It also contains an element called employees, which itself has an array as a value. Each element of this array is a JSON object made up of employee data specifically the employees for the current department. The output from this query is minified, which makes it hard to read. We could use a JSON formatter, but in this case we'll use a 19C feature. Here we've surrounded the previous query with a call to the JSON serialize function. Notice the inclusion of the pretty keyword. This will output the JSON in pretty print format. If we scroll through the output, we can see the departments element, which has an array for a value. Each element in the array is a JSON object representing the department, including the employees for that department. Here's the information for department 10. Department 20. Department 30. And department 40. Notice that Department 40 has no employees. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.